Hey you guys, we are back again with story time for my bedroom. Welcome back. We are here again. I got another story for you. Well, actually, this is a continuation of the story that I did Saturday night uh, story time on Instagram on IG. So before we get started, you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It is totally free, cheaper than Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, all that stuff you got. <laughs> I'm over here like Tubi, y'all free. <laughs> and then go ahead and click the bell for notifications so you know when we upload videos i upload videos every monday wednesday and friday not unless there's some type of situation where i ain't uploading a video y'all okay so then also uh give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and leave comments i always respond to the comments as much as i can so you guys for those i don't know for sure if everybody um, that subscribed to my channel was on Instagram Saturday, but there's a video on Instagram. I decided one of the viewers gave a suggestion that I should do story time on IG. So I had some free time finally on Saturday and decided to do story time on, on IG, but I left them with a cliffhanger. So if you haven't viewed that, go to my IG page, which is I Love to Giggle Too, and then come back over here and you're going to get the whole story, the second part of the story. So we're going to call this one secret lovers that's what we gonna call it because we were secret we weren't supposed to have been doing nothing y'all <laughs> the only thing is on instagram you guys the video cut off at like 18 minutes for some reason i don't know what it was we continue to you know i continue to do the story time but it, it stopped recording so that part kind of sucks but the cliffhanger that happened on saturday was I end up not having my period the next month. And so I was 16 and I think I may be pregnant. So in between that time of me thinking that I was pregnant, remember my dad was on my back. My mom was on my back. They was watching me like a hawk. The guy was driving down the street peeking and stuff but we could never link up because they were just on me tight the security was tight honey it was tight the security was but in between that time we moved from the apartment complex over to uh a different neighborhood which was like a walnut hill no it was a more eviston type area so we moved over there so by the time me, i didn't have a phone we didn't have a phone at all so if he was driving down the street you never were going to see me and i didn't have like any cash or anything like that because i wasn't working i was in high school or what have you and so i didn't have money to call him so it's like oh well i don't think i don't think cell phones were out then but when I thought I was pregnant, then what I did was I had finally borrowed some money from one of my friends. Probably was Barbat. Uh, my friend Barbat. I probably borrowed some money from her. Called him on the phone. Got him on the phone. Now, mind you, he didn't have his own personal phone. But remember, he lived in that um, uh, boarding house. And so you called the older lady's phone. And then she would go knock on his door and tell him he had a phone call. So I told him. And he was like, hey, I've been looking for you. You know, blah, blah, blah. I ain't seen you out in the parking lot. What's going on with you or whatever? He said he was cruising down the street just randomly. And I said, you know, we moved or whatever, but I need to tell you something. He was like, okay, what's going on? So I told him, I said, I think I might be pregnant. Y'all, let me tell you something. If I would have been pregnant at 16, I would. it wouldn't be no story time. It, it wouldn't be. All you would have seen was me in a casket like this, honey. It would not have been a story time whatsoever because Bear would have strung me up, honey, like Christmas lights. I'd have been dead. I'd have knew it. I'd have been dead, honey. So he was like, what? And the phone got silent. Now, mind you, I'm 16. He's 26. Last thing we need is a baby, honey, because charges get pressed. You're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So I told him, I said, I don't have money to buy a, a home pregnancy test. And then back then you could go like to Planned Parenthood or whatever, but I wasn't gonna walk all the way to Planned Parenthood then try to walk all the way home and I may be expecting with child. <laughs> so I told him, I said, can you bring me a home pregnancy test? He was like, okay, but I don't know where you live. So I had to tell him where we live. So the next day after I talked to him, he said, I'm gonna bring it tomorrow for you. I'm gonna get it this afternoon and I'm gonna bring it tomorrow. And I'll just, you know, be on your street. What time do you leave for school? So I told him what time I left for school. So I go up the little hill or whatever, walk into the bus stop, and he's parked like on the side street. And I go get the um, 
the pregnancy test. He was like, you want to come with me? And I'm like, no, that's the problem. That's why I got this test from the beginning because I'm going with you. I said, no, I'll just let you know or whatever. So I stuck it in my book bag because y'all, I knew I couldn't take that in the house. No way, shape or form. No way. I wasn't going to chance that. So I put it in my book bag. I went on to school and I took the test at school. Y'all, that was the longest however minutes I had uh, uh, to, to wait for it. I had to use the bathroom because I was just nervous about the whole situation anyways. Came back negative. Whew. Can we pause for my life? Thank you, Jesus. I'm still here because I never would have made it. Honey. <laughs> so I end up borrowing some money again to give him a call back to tell him like later that day, like, hey, I'm not pregnant. He was like, okay, that's good, good. But now, y'all, we done link back up because my mom and them, they was on me, but they really weren't on me, on me because I was coming straight home from school. It had been a month. You know, I wasn't disappearing. I, it was no excuses why I wasn't where I was supposed to be. So they sort of slacked up just a tad bit. Now, now he know where I live. So I come up the hill the next day. Guess who on the side street, y'all? The big blue vehicle. And I'm looking, he just kind of beeped the horn like beep. And I'm like, oh man, let's go. <laughs> so I hopped in the car. We back on the mess again, y'all. After a pregnancy scare, this is the sad part about it though. Let me pause right here. My uh, parents, as I mentioned uh, on Saturday, was Jehovah Witnesses. And so there was, you don't have sex before you're married. But we never, that being a reality in life is not always a reality. It's a good thing to say, hey, don't have sex before you get married. Don't have children, you know, until you get married. All of that picture that you give is not a lot of people's reality. So we never had talks about sex or sexuality or condoms or birth control or things of that nature. They straight, they just totally, it was always just don't do it. So in my mind, I never thought to get condoms or birth certificate. I said birth certificate, Lord Jesus. I almost had a birth certificate if I was going to be pregnant, but you know, birth control and things like that. So that was a bad part about it. Thankfully, I didn't get pregnant, but I, I didn't have the knowledge that I was supposed to have that would have came from my parents or what have you. So we hop back in the car, y'all. I'm on that mess again. So we're back and forth and I'm skipping school. And, you know, sometimes I was like, look, I can't go today. I done miss two, three days of school, bro. Gone somewhere. So I'm like, all right, then this is, uh, come on, bro. Like, Two, three times a week, and I got to get to school at some point so my parents don't get suspicious. So this one particular time, he was there with the little horn, beep, beep. So I go over there. Y'all, I end up going over there, got in the car, went back to his house or whatever. Well, to the room, <laughs> in the boarding room. Went back to the boarding room. Now, we're sitting there and we're watching TV. So this will happen. He's laying on the bed like this, and I'm sitting on top of not doing anything vulgar. We're just sitting and we're watching TV. And I don't remember what it was, but he asked me to do something. Maybe get something, do something. I don't know what it was. He asked me for something, and I didn't. I was like, I don't feel like doing that. Y'all. And he, pow, slapped me like right here. Now, mind you, I've been wearing glasses since I was like 12. So my glasses went like over by the door. I was shocked. Y'all, this was my first experience with like domestic violence. And I'm like, did you just hit me in my face? Now, mind you, if you ever, if you're new to the channel and you go back and watch the stories, you hear some stories about my dad, Baron. He was, he was a mess, but he had never hit me in my face. And my mom had never hit me in my face. So I'm trying to understand, like, where do you come off hitting me in my face? So I'm like, are you crazy? So next thing you know, y'all, I punched him in the chest like, boom. And then I did like that, bam. And I was like, you don't hit me. 
And so I went to get up to take my leg over across him to, you know, because one leg is on the floor. And then I'm bringing my other leg across. So I said, I'm going to give him one more good one. I said, boo! <laughs> if I would have been the weight now, back then I was probably about 140. But if I would have been like 200 plus what I am now, child, I'd have broke that fool pelvis. He didn't need a whole hip replacement. I'd have cracked his spine between the third and fourth disc. I don't, what is you doing? Y'all, I was shocked. I was like, I didn't do something you asked me to do. And y'all, it, it, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't hard. I just didn't feel like, and you think you're about to hit me in my entire face? I said, I'm out of here. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nah, I don't know what you got going on, bruh. I don't know what it is, but you ain't my daddy, and you ain't going to hit me in my face. I put my little uh, glasses back on. Child, my glasses. I said, who do you, honey, I first of all, you don't hit me. <laughs> light of it now y'all but it was funny at the time i'm like what the hell man she i couldn't process it so i said let me get my little stuff in my little book bag and get the frick up out of here because uh it's about to be some show enough furniture moving up and through and don't let me get to screaming i ain't supposed to be up in here anyways so i leave out and i'm like you know mad or whatever and it was this dude in the hallway now this guy always used to watch me like this was his friend but in that house y'all when I think about it I really could have been in a lot a lot of danger but you know when you're young and doing all kind of crazy and wild stuff you're not thinking about the bigger picture now this home that this lady had there was nothing but men that lived in there nothing but men it was probably about four to five men that lived in there and they shared a common bathroom. So this guy lived upstairs, the dude CJ that I was kicking it with, he lived on the first bar apartment on the bottom floor and then the lady was across the hallway and it was like three or four bedrooms upstairs where the dudes were. So whenever you went upstairs to the bathroom, sometimes he would be in the hallway, how you doing? I'm like, hey, how you doing? But he always gave me that little, uh, you want me to vibe. You know what I'm saying? Just something was unsettling about him. So I went on and I left out or whatever. He seen I was kind of upset. He was like, you all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine or whatever. And so then the guy CJ came out the room or whatever. And then I'm like, I'm gone or whatever. So I went on and went back home. So a couple of weeks go by y'all. And then he's back at the, at the uh, side of the uh, street again, honking the horn. Y'all, I walk past him. I ain't gonna put my middle finger. I said, hey. <laughs> I kept on walking. Like, ain't nobody gonna take you in your big blue car, you in your little stupid hairdo, and get the heck up out of here. Because <laughs> I ain't known it. <laughs> y'all, so then a couple of weeks went by after that. Y'all on some dumb mess. I was like, I think I kind of miss him. So I end up calling over to, now mind you, we had got a, finally got a phone in. So I end up calling over to the lady's house and then the guy, what did I say his name was? The other guy that was in the hallway. The dude that I knew kind of liked me. I could recognize his voice. He answered the phone and I was like, is CJ there? And he was like, oh, this is the, uh, the, the young girl. And I was like, yeah. He was like, no, he ain't here. And I was like, okay, then, well, let him know I call. And he uh, tell him, you know, I'll call back maybe uh, another time. He was like, all right, then, but I'm going to say, all right, I'm just going to let him know. And I'm like, okay, then. So I didn't hear nothing. I didn't call back for maybe like a couple of days because he didn't have my phone number. And caller ID wasn't out at that time. So then I end up calling back maybe two, three days later or what have you. And I was like, he, the guy was on the phone again. So he was like, no, he ain't here, though. He was like, he gone for the night, but he probably be back a little later. And I was like, oh, okay, then we'll tell him, you know, sure. He, call. he was like, yeah, yeah, man, I listen. He down Darla house. Darla? And I was like, okay. He was like, yeah, he got, I didn't want to say nothing, but he got some little chick named Darla. And I'm like, okay, then. I was like, well. I'll just get with him, you know, I'll get with him whenever. He was like, yeah, yeah, but, uh, you know, he shouldn't be doing you like that. And that, that. So he's trying to lightweight have a conversation. I said, okay, then it don't matter. I said, I, it is what it, I'll call, I'll, maybe I'll call back another time. He was like, but if you want to click, I said, 
Oh, this is a whole boarding house of nastiness. Y'all, I was in the midst of all that pedophilia, nastiness, and didn't even recognize it. Y'all, after that, I said, that is it. You done got you a little dollar. I done had a pregnancy scare. You done popped me in the side of my head. I was like, what? And now, uh-uh, I'm over it. So after that, the dude must have told him, the little other creepy dude must have told him. And so maybe a few days after that, he's back up at the thing. Honey, I gave him the finger and I walked away. The next day he came back. I gave him the finger and I kept walking. The day after that, he came back. And that's when I walked up to the car. I said, look, I'm not on you no more. It's over. I said, you got some chick named Darla because the guy upstairs told me. And I told the guy's name or whatever. I sure did snitched his friend out. So y'all can go over there and have y'all a little tussle and argument, argue. And I said, and you hit me in my face. I said, it's over. I don't have time for this. And I went on and got my tail to school. And I was at school every day after that. Nobody got time for this mess. Child, that was a whole choice. It was called Secret Lovers, honey. Too much. Y'all, but the glasses incident had me shook it. I tore his tail up, though, y'all. I'm so pissed. <laughs> like, no, we don't do that. We do not do that right there. You guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. And for all my new subbies, hey, I got some new subbies. Y'all get happy about that. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. You may want to watch it from the beginning so you can get the scenario of, of whatever. <laughs> uh, the whole scenario of my crazy family between my dad, my sister, the dog, Jojo, and no, not too much. Yeah, Jojo and Window. So, <laughs> my brother Window craziness going on over here you guys thanks for supporting my channel once again go ahead and like the uh video give a thumbs up also and go ahead and click the bell for notifications so you know when we upload every monday wednesday and friday and also subscribe to the channel like i said it's totally free guess what and the cost will never go up guaranteed every month look never will go up <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I will see you again on Wednesday. And maybe if I have some time this Saturday, I'll do another story time on IG. Peace.